Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about contour lines. Some people sometimes get a bit hung up about, a bit intimidated by, um, don't quite know how to, how to interpret them, but um, really it's quite straightforward and they're an absolute essential in being able to understand the land around us um, and thus make navigating easier. So I want us to imagine that we are stood here on Grindslow Knoll and we're looking over in a roughly northerly direction over here towards the Kinder Plateau. So if we look at the contour lines, this land here, you can see that the contours are quite wide, wide apart, quite widely spaced, whereas here they're very close together uh, and they stay very close together here until this area here where they really widen out again um, very very far apart so what that's telling us is that where the contours are far apart the land is flat or on a gentle incline when they're close together the ground is very steep what it's not actually telling us is whether this area here is very steep down or very steep up there are other things we can use to work that out so in this example we've got Grindsbrook here which is a stream um, and we know that streams will tend to run in, in a valley bottom rather than along a ridge line so there's a very good chance that this is steep down um, and that's steep up the other side of the valley another feature we can look at is if we just look at this bit here we can see that the contour lines are going in almost an A shape which tells us that here there's a particular feature and it looks like it's quite a steep sided small valley cutting into the, the Kinder Plateau so just try and get in your mind's eye what that might look like in real life Okay, so here we are. We're stood on Grindslow Knoll, looking across northwestwards to the flat Kinder Plateau there. You can see we've got very steep ground here, steep ground here, and then we've got this flat area just ahead of us here. We can't actually see the stream in this case in the valley bottom. But just from a slightly different perspective, here we can see that there's going to be a stream running in there. And we can also see this feature that we were looking at before, which is that very steep sided valley cutting into the plateau just on and up to the flatland ahead there. So just going back to what we were talking about we were looking from there across to this area here and we've seen how we've got an area there where the contour lines are very widely spaced apart indicating flat ground very close together here which is the steep side of the valley on the other side of the brook and we've got steep land dropping away down here and we've got a flat area just ahead of us there there we are so I hope that's helped you just get a, a bit of an idea of what contour lines look like on the map and how they translate to what they look like in real life um, and I hope that you can use that in your fell running or your, your walking um, and whatever you do just enjoy it and be safe out there.